Hi everybody. So this next session is about how to find out what is the energy of the photoelectrons. So in order to do this, it's very hard to measure the energy of the electrons directly. But the way that this is done is what is the energy required to stop the photoelectrons? So as you know, light According to the particle theory of light, light travels as a stream of photons and each photon has energy where E is equal to HF and high the frequency, more the energy. And you also know that this energy is used in two ways. Part of the energy is used to release the electron from the metal surface and that's called the work function energy and any remaining energy gives the electrons kinetic energy. So if we know what is the energy required to stop the electrons, then it is possible to find out how much energy the electrons have. Now, we know that the definition for voltage, voltage is equal to energy divided by charge, where E is capital E is the kinetic energy of the electron. So I can rearrange this equation to write EK, which is the kinetic energy of the electron, can be found out from what is the amount of voltage needed to stop them. And this is called the cutoff voltage. I don't think I can write all the words. And instead of this is the cutoff voltage. Okay, times little e, which is the charge on the electron, and your little e is actually equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. Okay, right, so how do we stop the electrons from reaching the positive plate? And the way that this is done is by giving the emitter plate a positive potential. In other words, I'm making the emitter more positive compared to the collector. There will come a stage when the electrons are not reaching the collector plate, but whatever electrons were given away by the emitter plate is going back into the emitter plate. And at that point, the current becomes zero. So the voltage at which the current becomes zero is your cutoff voltage. And if you can measure this cutoff voltage and you multiply it by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs, it is possible to get the energy of the photoelectron. Okay, so that's this lesson.